Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is me making some spaghetti squash and I know I've made a video on this salad. So I'm not gonna make another one. I'm just gonna tell you what's in it. Some green olives, banana peppers, pickles, spinach, romaine, pepperoni, salami, and a little bit of Italian dressing. Yes, I can't stay away from Italian dressing. Yes, I know it has a couple sugars in it, but it's only two tablespoons and I'm okay with that. Next, I am enjoying one of these, this Smirnoff spiked sparkling seltzer. It is a one carb and it is delicious. My spaghetti squash is cooking in the oven. It's got, Alexa, how much time on my timer? You have three minutes left on your 40 minutes. Oh, I got three minutes left on it. Okay, so that'll be done soon. I sent the kids to the store because I was not gonna use any hamburger meat in my um, sauce, but then I decided I wanted it. So I sent them to go get some, so they're also buying candy, so that'll be a minute. And then I got my Rails sauce cooking. I just added some garlic and some onion powder and some oregano into the sauce mixture. And I'm gonna eat my salad while I wait for the kids to get back and I'll start cooking up that ground beef. The well, first thing you wanna do is cut your spaghetti squash in half and scrape out the seeds in the gunk. It's kind of like a pumpkin when you're covering a pumpkin. Okay, so next you wanna just drizzle it with olive oil or I'm using avocado oil. And I'm just gonna rub it around with my little spoon, my spoon. And let me say, this is my first time making spaghetti squash. So I will link the um, recipe down below of the one that I was following. It's not really a recipe. It just said how to cook it. Um, it said olive oil, cut in half, scrape it out, salt and pepper it. So that's what I'm going to do. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. Why not? I want some minced garlic in it too because it's my spaghetti squash and I'll salt it if I want to. Okay, so then it said to flip it upside down and then um, cook it for 40 minutes at 400 degrees. See you soon. So I already shredded up one side of the squash and I can't believe how easy this was. And the kids are still not back with the meat, so here sit my little onions and sauce all by themselves. So I'll just show you how easy it is. If, as you can see, this is super tender. I just took two forks and I just go like this. And I'm so sorry for the dishwasher. Let me turn that off. So as you can see, you just take your fork and you just pull. You just scrape at it and it literally is just peeling from the walls in like a spaghetti shape. Actually really cool. I've never made this. I've never had it. I hope it tastes good. So I'm just shredding all of this off of the sides. I don't know where the kids are. You send them for the store for something and then they take 20 minutes picking out some candy. Holy cow, if you've never had uh, spaghetti squash and you are really missing a noodle, I highly recommend this. Once this meat and sauce is on here, I don't think I'll be able to tell a difference. All right, you send your daughter to the store to get beef and she gets you this. This was $6 almost for this. This. 
this. It's not even a pound. Look what she got. Look what she got. Angus. I couldn't find anything. You guys. I'm excited. It looks just like a plate of spaghetti. So happy. Here's some cottage cheese. I'm excited. I don't mind my table. Give it a go. What do you think, Reese? The cottage cheese. <laughs> yeah, I see you ate all your cottage cheese. Can you please try the spaghetti squash and let me know how that is? Mm. What do you think? Good. Tiffany? All right, so here I go. Taking a little taste test. I think it's really good. Hmm. Did it really warm the soup? It really reminds me of spaghetti noodles. Mm hmm. Anyways, this is delicious. If you've never had spaghetti squash, you're missing out. You are really missing out. And I just put a little bit of cottage cheese on the side. I'm going to go enjoy my spaghetti squash. And I hope you guys are having a great... My Wednesday... No. What's today? Wednesday. This is my Wednesday, but it's going to be your Friday. Because... Tomorrow is Thursday and it's cooking request Thursdays and I'm going to be making um, a breakfast sausage dip from Chef Wannabe. So super excited about that, but I will see you guys tomorrow, but you'll see this Friday. So bye guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. I like to talk to you. My birthday. Oh, and her birthday's on Saturday? Saturday in the night? Yes. Yes. I, well, I didn't know what day the night fell on. Anyways, yeah. Her birthday. Her birthday's on Saturday. You want to show them what I got you? I only gave it to her already because uh, my Alexa decided to tell her. Well, the box shows it. In six, Instax Mini 9, the little uh, Polaroid camera. She really wanted it badly. All right, guys. Subscribe. Hit the like. Comment. Love ya. Bye.